Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Your floor number, please. Beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? Both. The view's amazing. The owl, well, artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell? He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydneys. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Terrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Terrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Terrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant, a very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe, more human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories of four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendeller's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendeller. 
I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend. Yes? I'm looking for J.F. Sebastian. That's me. McCoy, LPD. You had a break-in? I... I don't think I called anyone. I was already here. I was chasing one of the perpetrators. Well, everything's all right now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. You may think you can, but believe me, you can't. Better if I check it out. Well, if you insist. I don't think they took anything. I don't really have anything here of any value. You work for Tyrell Corporation? Yes, sir. I'm one of the principal design engineers for Dr. Tyrell. He's a very nice man. You know, he even fronted me the money to buy this building. It's a landmark, you know. You really should see the front edifice. They put some amazing detail into it. You feeling all right? Oh, sure. I'm fine. You wouldn't be hiding anybody, would you? No, sir. There's nobody here but me and my friends. What friends? Good evening, Jeff. Evening, General. See? I make friends. He almost looks real. He's plenty real enough for me. And real good company, too. Look, I gotta check the premises again. Maybe they left something behind. Well, if you want to take a look, go on ahead. I can't stop you. But please be careful in my lab. You got it. You know the design subcons down in the row, Miraji and Chu? I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. I don't go in for the parties and stuff, and I never go down to the row. You ever work with a Dr. Eisendoller? We're in different fields. I'm in basic biogenetic design, and he works on the practical application of off-world physics. He seems to be a very nice man. Who happens to be dead. Dead? He was murdered, probably by a replicant. But replicants aren't allowed on Terra. But they're here, nonetheless. And who do you think they'll start looking for next? How well do you know Dr. Tyrell? Oh, I'm not sure anyone really knows him. But I can tell you this, he's a great man and a brilliant genetic designer. Dr. Tyrell and I play chess every week. I've only beaten him once. Talk to me about the twins. You mean Luther and Lance? They were Dr. Tyrell's favorites until he let them go. Nobody really knows why either. You think they hold a grudge against Tyrell? Maybe, but they're decent fellows, Mr. McCoy. I don't think they'd ever do a mean thing to anybody. They're real smart, too, almost as smart as Dr. Tyrell. 
Maybe they're too smart to keep around. Too much competition for the old man. Oh, they could never take Dr. Terrell's place. How about this? Do you think they're the type who might help out renegade replicants? You... You're a Blade Runner, aren't you? Bingo. But you said you were here about the burglary. The guys who broke in might be replicants. What in the world would a replicant want from me? You worked on the Nexus 6 series, didn't you? Just a little bit. Would you say that the 6s are smarter than the old 4s and 5s? They're supposed to be. Stronger and more agile, too. So maybe they want to learn more about themselves. Maybe they want to pick your brain about their brains. I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. <laughs>